EVs take too long to charge. I don't want to spend the rest of my life sitting at a charger. That's a really good point. Of course, there is also all those hours you lose putting gas in your car. Confused? Well, I guess we got to talk about that right now. Sound the alarm. I'm coming, I'm coming up. We'll have the ball. Hi, this is Rich and welcome to Wings, Wheels and Wires and welcome to episode one of our video series, Do EVs Suck? This is where we look at the truth and myths behind common anti-EV comments. One of the main criticisms of EVs is how long it takes to charge. And while this is often exaggerated, it is absolutely true. It takes longer to charge than it does put gas in your car. You can figure it usually takes about 30 minutes to go 0 to 80%, though this time could be different depending upon the type of car you have and the type of charger you're using. Now before we talk about how much time you would lose by charging an EV, we also need to talk about the other side of the coin most people don't actually talk about, and that's how much time you can save. That's right, you can actually save time by EV charging. Wait till the end of the video and we'll do a self-assessment to figure out how much time you would lose or save with charging. All right, so let's take a look at an example. During my work routine, I commuted 50 miles round trip each day and I ran some errands during the weekday and weekends. I've, I had a BMW Z3 four-cylinder, got an average of 27 miles per gallon. I would fuel up about three times every two weeks. And the time it would take to fuel up would be an average of seven minutes each time. Now let's take those 48 work weeks and divide by two for the two weeks and then multiply by three for the three fuel stops I'll make in those two weeks. That gives us a total of about 60 fuel stops a year. Multiply that by seven minutes per stop and that is 420 minutes or almost seven hours per year I would spend gassing up my car. Now let's compare that same routine with an electric vehicle. I have a level two charger at home, so charging is easy. Um, and I have a BMW i3, which has pretty much as short as electric range you can get. Uh, and because of that, I found myself charging about six days a week. Now let's see how much time that takes. Hours later. That's right, 15 seconds. It only takes 15 seconds of my time for me to charge my vehicle each day. Now, let's go back to those 48 weeks times 5 work days per week is 240 charging sessions. Now, let's add another 40 for weekends where I drove around enough to need to throw it on the charger. So that's 280 charging sessions. Now, 15 seconds is one quarter of a minute. So that's, we're going to multiply the 280 times 0.25. And that gives us a total of 70 minutes per year that I spend charging my vehicle for my daily commute. If I had an EV with a range of 200 miles or better, that would drop down to somewhere around 40 minutes a year. And if I had an EV with 300 miles of range or better, I would be under 30 minutes. But let's go ahead and stick with this worst case of 70 minutes per year charging. That is 420 minutes per year I spent fueling up my gas car versus the 70 minutes per year I spend fueling up my EV. That is a savings of 350 minutes or just under six hours. Now, it is really important to note that uh, this is because I have a level two charger at home. If you don't have access to a level two charger at home or at, your, at or near your workplace, charging your vehicle is going to take a lot longer and it's probably one of the considerations you may want to have in whether or not you get an EV. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button down below. While you're down there, hitting the subscribe button would greatly support the channel. And, of course, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And stand by to the end of the video to hear my new subscriber shoutouts. Of course, most people make some number of road trips every year. And this is, of course, what the critics are talking about when they complain about long charge times. Now, how much time you lose for road trip charging depends on a few factors. 
how far you're traveling, the range of your EV, and how smartly you plan your EV charging. As an example, I make three trips per year from San Diego to Los Angeles. It's 125 miles each way, so 240 miles round trip. Since I only have a 115 mile EV, I actually end up making two charging stops during these trips. So at 30 minutes each stop, that is six stops for a total of three hours I spend per year on on-road charging. I also make at least one trip per year to either Las Vegas, San Francisco, San Luis Obispo from San Diego. Now, because my EV has such a short range, that equals a whopping eight charging stops. And at 30 minutes each, that is four hours just for charging. So we take that three hours I lose for charging on my LA trips and the four hours I lose on my average long distance trip per year. And that is seven hours that I have spent charging my vehicle. As compared to six hours, I would have spent just gassing up my car. So I've really only lost one hour in comparison. So it's not how much time you spend doing either one, it's when you spend that time. Our hypothetical 270 mile EV would only have to make three charge stops for a total of an hour and a half, which would still be an hour and a half less time spent charging an EV than they would have spent gassing up the car for the year. Now there are some factors that will add additional charging stops. Uh, for example, if it's cold outside, your battery operates less effectively, so you'll have shorter range. Also, if you're traveling in the mountains, it'll probably consume your battery more quickly, or if you're running the AC or the heater. And in cases like my friend's Mustang Mach-E, it may be the vehicle just not achieving the range that it claims to be able to do. In his case, it was definitely a limitation of the vehicle, but how you drive will affect your range. EPA estimates for EV range are much like miles per gallon estimates for gas cars. If you drive like you're taking your driving test, then you'll probably hit the numbers that they claim. But the minute you start trying to qualify for NASCAR out on the highway, your numbers will go down quickly. That brings us to the last factor, route planning. Intelligent route planning can both reduce the amount of time it takes you to charge and reduce the amount of time you're actually sitting at the charger. A really good example of this is if you try to drive your EV like a gas car, your first instinct will be to try to fuel it to 100% at each stop. That would be a big mistake. As I mentioned earlier, most EVs can go from 0% to 80% in only 30 minutes. But you see to get that last 20% up to 100 will take you another 30 to 45 minutes. So if I, in the case of my i3, if I charge to 100%, it'll take me a, an hour and 15 minutes to get to 115 miles. Or I can make two charging stops and charge up to 80% each time and have spent a total of an hour to get 165 miles of range. How do we reduce the time we would be sitting at the charger? Well, that's by combining charging stops with stops you already have to make. For example, when you already have to stop to use a bathroom or to eat. Your average sit-down meal takes a good 30 minutes. In the, that same amount of time, you can charge your vehicle from 0 to 80% or even higher, and you won't have spent even a minute sitting in the car waiting for it to charge. You can also charge at your destination. Whenever possible, I stay at hotels that have EV charging close to them. When I go to San Luis Obispo, there is a level two charger right next to the hotel I usually stay at. This makes charging super fast, easy, and convenient for me. Unplug it and plug it in just like when I'm at home. You can do the same thing at concerts, shopping malls, even at the casino. Now let's talk about combining EV charging and bathroom breaks. If you were to stop to use a restroom every two hours, that would be about 140 miles of travel. Bathroom breaks usually take 10 to 15 minutes. So, if we had our hypothetical 270 mile EV, in 15 minutes of charging, you could charge 110 miles. This means you have recouped all but 30 miles of your tra distance traveled. Now, if we lose 30 minutes on each stop every two hours, it will have taken us 16 hours and over a thousand miles to deplete the battery. In that amount of time, I'm pretty sure you would have gotten to your destination. 
Now, of course, this comes with one really huge variable, and that is the range of your car. For example, my BMW i3 with a range of 115 miles, this would not work. I actually do have to make longer stops to recoup what I use. But on the other end of the spectrum, you have the new Tesla Model 3 that claims 175 miles of charge in 15 minutes, no doubt under ideal conditions. And, but with that kind of charging speed, you would be able to stop every 2 hours and 45 minutes and never run out of range. Okay, now it's your turn to do a self-assessment. How many stops do you estimate you made to get fuel in the past year? If it's hard to remember that far back, how many did you make in the past month and multiply that times 12? Then take whatever number that is for those total number of stops for the year and multiply that by the seven minutes average time it takes to fuel up. Jot that number down. We're going to use it later. Now, which EV do you have or are interested in getting? Go ahead and take the maximum range of that EV and multiply it times 0.8 to get your on-road charging range. Lastly, calculate how many miles you drove on road trips in the past year. Go ahead and take that number and divide it by your on-road charging range. This is going to give you the total number of sessions, charging sessions you would have had to have made. Now, multiply those numbers of charging sessions times 30 minutes per session, and this will give you how much time you would have spent charging your EV. Now, you have your total time you spent charging your EV on road trips and the total time you spent gassing your car on your daily commute. What you're going to do is take the, whichever number is bigger, put that on the top and subtract the other number from it. Your result will be however many extra minutes you spent either for an EV or for a gas car. So I would love to hear what number y'all came up with down in the comment section along with any other feedback or comments you might have while you're down there you might want to hit that like button the subscribe button the bell notification icon uh, next is my subscriber shout outs and uh right here is a video youtube thinks you're gonna like next and now it's time for the subscriber shout outs if you'd like your own shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and either make sure your name is visible or put in the comments down below that you subscribed. Milson Majareas. Sorry if I mispronounce that. Always overthinking. Ed Peevler. Avengers 9. Thank you all for subscribing.